Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today's episode, we're talking about the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card and specifically how to use that $15 hotel credit that you get. So of course, I'll be walking you through how the credit works, my actual booking for it so we can take a look through the travel portal, how it all works, and all the details so you can get maximum value. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, when it comes to it, Shea Sapphire Preferred, one of the very popular travel cards. I myself picked one up maybe a month or two ago with one of the in-branch offers. So, you know, I'll put the card on screen for you as a refresher, but you take a look at it. Again, it's got a $95 annual fee. So this $50 travel credit is specific for, um, you know, booking through the Chase Travel Portal um, on hotels. And that becomes important because, again, uh, we throw the term effective annual fee around quite a bit, but you can see if we can get maximum value, face value of $50 from this credit, then that is seriously going to help us justify that $95 annual fee for the Sapphire Preferred. And really, that's the question at hand. So first, how do you use the credit? Well, again, it's pretty simple. I'll put it on screen for you. Uh, the terms in the portal read as if you get this on your anniversary year because a lot of credits work that, you know, in the year one, you get the intro offer points, and then year number two, these credits kick in. Uh, but this one does start from application. Again, it is $50. Uh, you do not have to use all $50 in one go, which is very nice. Uh, you do need to book through the Chase Travel Portal. It does need to be a hotel, and of course, you want to pay with the Sapphire Preferred card. If you do all of those things, then you should satisfy the requirements pretty easy. Also worth noting, when you go through the portal, uh, you can get, you know, on your ultimate reward points, you can still get the 1.25x back on your points when booking travel through the portal. And they do allow you to um, adjust how much you pay with a card versus how many points you use, as you'll see. So you could even pair this down to use points and then just get it to the actual $50 amount. Now, of course, you do have to pay at the time of checkout. You can't do like the pay later on property type deal. But again, this should be open to any property fine. So what are we booking specifically? Specifically, well, depending on when you're watching this, this could be old news or new news, but going to uh, Luke's Points and Miles, friend of the channel, he has his own channel here on YouTube, he's more of the uh, the travel guy, if you will, an expert, but he's, uh, he's hosting like, a meetup in Vegas over Labor Day weekend in 2023. So I'm going to go show some love and support, meet some of you guys, hopefully. And, uh, you know, I'm going to book that that hotel. Now, again, I'm not a huge travel person, so I don't really have any other travel cards to use. But, uh, you know, you would want to, of course, inventory what you have here, you know, before you actually go, you know, make your booking. But because I know where I'm going, um, where the party's at it's the, in Las Vegas, the Park MGM, I know the dates. That's the only travel card I have. I want to use that travel credit. We can pretty much, our booking is going to be pretty easy. So again, we're just going to walk through it together through the travel portal. Then we'll come on the other end with some final thoughts. So let's go ahead and get over to the computer to get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal. Now to get to this screen, you log into Chase and you just select the card you want and you can go to the Redemptions option. It'll bring you here. Um, but this is kind of like the home base page. Now um, to check you know, your, uh, your credit, you can go to Card Benefits right here on this drop down. This is basically where you do most of your navigation at. This sidebar will also pop out all your other credit cards if you want to switch cards. But again, we talked about this in the beginning, but you can just see if, you, know, you don't have to use the whole $50 in one go, which is actually really nice. And you can see when you have to use it by. So there's that if you want to check that. But to get to work here, travel again, your navigation bar, um, you want to go to the travel icon there. This is going to fire us up to the Chase uh, actual travel portal now that you're probably more used to. So we'll give that a second to load in. Now, of course, you don't actually have to do this through the Sapphire Preferred card because it matters more so matters how you pay for it. Uh, but it's still best practice to be in here with the travel card that you have. So again, we know this is a hotel credit. We're going to be doing a hotel, so we'll go into that option. Um, now, you know, of course, some of this stuff auto populates in because I was messing around with it beforehand. Uh, so you can kind of see that. But if you wanted to, uh, obviously, you can mess with your dates, locations. This also will tell you your points conversion. Again, a little bit out of a scope for this, but you know, if you're using points uh, with the Sapphire Preferred through the Chase Portal, 1.25% back as opposed to 1x back. So it does the conversion for you, and you will have the option to play around with that. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll look at that as well. But let's fire up a search here. And we're going to get everything to load in. And again, it, it is nice that because they know you're using the Sapphire Preferred, it doesn't pop and say, hey, use the credit, which is a nice reminder. So, uh, you know, you've got all your filters and stuff over here, price, rating, 
TripAdvisor if you want. The only thing I've ever really cared about, and granted, this is Vegas, so I mean, I think it's going to be a given, but fitness facility is very important to me. Um, but if you want it, you know, if you're driving for whatever reason, obviously you can filter uh, location as well, or you can just type in the property name. So I'll just kind of scroll through here so you can get a sense of it. But again, I know where I'm going. And as you can see, they do put the price in cash and then your total nights you booked, what that would be in points as well. So uh, good to note that. Now, funny story, most people are, you know, staying at the Waldorf Astoria, but uh, that's pretty pricey for me. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm kind of a cheapskate when it comes to this stuff, especially if you're not hanging out at the hotel, which I don't really tend to do. So I don't, uh, don't want to stay there, especially because the festivities are actually at the Park MGM for this event. So for me, I don't really have a hardcore opinion or favorite hotel so for me like why not just stay at the place where i need to be and then i can go right downstairs and i join the group so you can see you can kind of get the feeling um for all of that but it'd be much easier to just probably enter it in park mgm there we go um so there we go just like that and you can see again price and stuff so we go ahead and choose that one it'll load in and again, you can kind of see all the amenities. So if something is very important to you, uh, you can kind of come through here and take a look. Now they also have photos. Again, I only really ever look at two photos, if we're being honest, or I look for one set of photos. The room is fine. I only go there to sleep. It's not that big of a deal to me. Personally, it might be to you, uh, but here we go. This is what I need. We can run. We can lift. Yes, I'm only going to be there for like a day or like one day, like one workout, maybe two workouts technically, but we don't want our muscles to atrophy, do we? Uh, so that for me, that's all I care about. You probably care about much more stuff. Now, you can go down. You can kind of see your options. You want a view. You want that two beds whatever you want they've got they've got options in addition to that they actually they also tell you the policy so location amenities um check in check out also very important things to know we'll be in we'll be well we'll be in much later than three and out way before 11 so no issues there um so for me cheapest one it's just me so i don't need two pets so we'll just go with with the one um shoes room same price that's all i care about uh so load that in there and so here we go again this is kind of like your your checkout cart so we can see the actual price now you know you can use points if you wanted to which is helpful because if you just wanted to get this down to only owing fifty dollars you could do that um and that would be very helpful for me i'm just going to pay with dollars uh which is fine but you could definitely use your points and just kind of um, mess around with it to get fifty dollars, which is great. Again, you're getting one to one point two five cents a point because it's the sapphire preferred. But I'm just going to do cash. Now, there's one other thing you want to check here. Um, so we have the price of seven twenty three, but we always want to go back to Hyatt and we want to price this out booking directly just to make sure you know we're getting the actual price and it's not you know because it costs more because it's a travel portal um so you can see it's breaking down the stays and then you can actually go down here to these different fees and you can see we actually have a different a little bit of a different price you might be wondering why that is well that's because of the resort fees right here of 88 bucks so actually if we pull up a handy calculator i did the math already but we'll clear it for you um and we just add in there we go 811.80 which is the same price if you book direct um so what would happen is that 88 bucks as they say that will be due on property when you get there and this is very important because this lets us know that we can value the fifty dollars from the sapphire preferred at face value if the prices were different obviously this one this portal was higher well then that doesn't work so we've at least price checked them again i'm not you could bounce around between other booking sites travel portals if you wanted to but i would either be booking direct or i'd be going through this so because they're going to be the same price fifty dollars can be valued at face value in my opinion now we will scroll down here, enter your traveler information. And so, again, if you've done this before, like I've done this before, this would just be my information. If I hit the drop down box, just like my contact information, which is blacked out. Um, and it, new here, you can actually add in your hotel loyalty program. That wasn't there the last time, but it's been a while. So, MGM is a Hyatt deal. I'm going to put that in there, see if it takes it. 
I just got that from my Hyatt profile. And so here we go. Now you can check out. This is where we want to pay with the Sapphire Preferred. Now, interestingly enough, it doesn't know. Like, I would have thought it just had the card. Granted, of course, this is CX Loyalty. But I would have thought it just knew the Chase card. But this is where you want to put in your Sapphire Preferred. So I'm going to do that. Then I will rejoin you and show what it looks like completed. So uh, the power of video editing. I will see you in a second. All right, guys, and so here we are. Again, we're all booked. So if you come back to the Chase Travel home, basically, you can now see we have the trip coming up here booked. Uh, two nights, one room, one guest. Uh, if you had more trips, you could see them and manage them all right there. So overall, pretty easy. Again, in a few days, you know, that credit will post to the Sapphire Prefer. But there we go. So we'll flip it around to the other view to uh, close this one out. And so there we have it, guys. Overall, that was pretty easy to do. Now, you know, I will add one thing. I did put in my Hyatt number for that MMGM property. Uh, it did not show up in my Hyatt um, profile, though, which is kind of annoying. I didn't think it would, but when you book uh, flights, it it does port over so that's kind of annoying but again we can see we were able to get maximum value by price checking though so overall i would say this one was a win it's pretty easy to use um so i would definitely say this does help with that effective annual fee the sapphire preferred so anyways guys that is going to do it for this one as always if you liked it and drop me a thumbs up down below if you found it particularly interesting consider subscribing to the channel because again we're posting content just like this every single week and of course where i bank every sunday with all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance and every single day over on profitablecontent.com we have the latest news stories, bank bonuses, and credit card offers. All the stuff you'd love to read for hours on a flight to Vegas. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one.